When working with large data models in Power BI, it can be sometimes intimidating, frustrating, and even confusing to keep track of all the tables and where all the information is. Even when just trying to track how information flows through a subset of a process, the number of tables, arrows, links, it can all be a bit overwhelming. Even if your data model isn't quite as insane as that previous example, it's nice to be able to focus on just certain aspects or certain parts of the data model. So instead of having to look at everything all at once all the time, wouldn't it be nice if we could just look at a subset of tables? So I might be interested in just customer flow or product chain information, or maybe how sales flows through the data set. Let's see how we can create these custom layouts so we're not always forced to look at everything all the time. And at the end of this video, I'll show you some really cool tips and tricks for showing extra information while you're in the model view. You can download this file from the link in the video description so you can follow along or just open up the solution file and see how everything was created. If you were to connect to a database that has many, many tables, by default, Power BI will display up to 75 tables at once. So if your data source has less than 75 tables, they'll all be displayed at the same time. Once you pass that 75 table mark, you are required to create your own custom layouts. We begin with the data model as most people see it, everything all at once. Well, just like in the report view, you can have multiple tabs, multiple sheets, and each sheet can be a curated view of the data model of just what you're interested in. So in the lower left-hand corner, most people never notice that you can actually create multiple sheets while in the model view. So we'll go down here and click the plus, and now we get to set up our layout. We'll begin by opening up the data panel on the right. This will give us a list of all of our tables. Going back to the full view of the data model for just a second, perhaps I just want to see customer information, data from the customers table, the customer address table, and the address table. We go to our custom layout, and we go to the table view, click and hold on a table name, and drag it and drop it into the layout window. We can then position this and resize it. So I've got customer, and then I'm going to grab customer address, drop it into the layout, position it, size it, and then finally the address table, position and size. Notice the order that I placed these tables in the layout. I went from customer to customer address to address. Since these are naturally connected via relationships, those relationship links are displayed here. Now, what if I had added customer and then address and skipped the middle table customer address. I'm gonna right click on the address table and remove it from the diagram. I'll also take customer address, right click and remove it from the diagram. If I go straight from customer to address, that relationship link is not displayed because there is not a direct connection between these two tables. But if I were to get the customer address table which resides between these two, those relationship links will be displayed. Now, another thing you can do, I'll remove these two from the diagram is if I were to add the sales customer table and I want to automatically have in this layout every other directly connected table, then I can right click on the table and choose add related tables. And as we saw before, customer address is directly related to customer as is the sales order header table. Let's right click and remove this from the diagram and we'll re-add customer address. Let's go down here and do a little right click rename and we'll rename this to customer address. We'll collapse data for a moment and if we want to see all of the tables in the data model, we can go to the all tables layout. But if we just want to see tables that are related to customer address information, we can come over here to customer address. Going back to the entire data model, now let's create a layout specifically for the product chain. So this will go from product to product model to product model product description and then product description. We'll create a new layout. I'll open up the data panel. And in this case, I'm gonna select product, hold down control and select product model product model, product description, and then product description. With multiple tables selected, I can then click and drag all four tables into this view at once. Now they're not exactly in a readable arrangement, so we'll go down here into the bottom right corner and do a reset layout just to see what we get. And not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and resize and move these a little bit just to clean it up the way I like it. We'll rename this layout to product chain. I demonstrated earlier that if you add a table to a layout and you don't want that table any longer, you can right click on the table and choose remove from diagram. You can also just click on a table and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Just be mindful that when you do that, Power BI doesn't know how severe you want your delete to be. So do you want to just remove it from the diagram or do you want to remove this table from the entire data model? Be very careful of which of these you choose. Now let's look at some features that we have available to us in the model view that will help us understand our data model better. 
Let's begin by selecting just an empty part of this model canvas, no table selected, and then open up the properties panel. I'm going to scroll over. Our first option is to show the database in the header. So if you're pulling data from multiple databases, it can be confusing as to which table came from where. So by activating this feature, let's zoom in, we can see the database's name directly under the table name. This way we always know where things come from. If you're not sure which fields are being used as primary or foreign keys when related to other tables, using this show related fields when card is collapsed, we can right click on an empty part of the canvas, say collapse all, and now the only fields that will be displayed are key fields. So you'll know exactly which fields and how many in each table are used for relationships. A simple right click expand all will reveal all the fields. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Field names are by default listed in alphabetical order. But one of the things I like to do is have the key fields listed at the very beginning of the table. So pin related fields to the top of card. If I activate this, we can see that the bill to address ID, customer ID, sales order ID, and ship to address ID fields are all key fields in the sales order table. All other fields come after that in alphabetical order. So that's how we can use custom layouts so we can focus on very specific parts of the data model and not have to look at everything all at once all the time. Let me know what you think of this feature. Had you ever seen it before? Did you even know you could do this? And do you think it'll make dealing with data models a little bit easier? Download the starter file and solution file from the link in the video description. Thank you for watching. Remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.